good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, the Runaway Bay Main Road in St. Anne has now been open to vehicular traffic. This after major flooding due to heavy rainfall in the early hours this morning. The heavy rains along the north coast hampered traffic in three parishes. 24-year-old Rasheen Hutchinson of Pretoria Road in Kingston was shot and killed earlier this morning. It is alleged to be a gang feud between Pretoria Road and Glen Road. Nearly 20 persons have been murdered over the past four days. Police Commissioner George Quelo is urging Jamaicans to provide the police with more information on criminal activities in order to stop the bloodletting. The Clarendon CIB and the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Unit, CTOC, have launched an investigation into a criminal network suspected of shipping arms and ammunition into the island. Three Haitian nationals and two locals, including a Clarendon businessman, have been arrested. The third day of the new year recorded two fatalities as a result of crashes on the island's roads. The two fatalities occurred in Hanover and St. Catherine. Minister of National Security Robert Montague has rejected the Commissioner of Police George Quelo's report on the Palisados traffic pileup on Monday. Mr. Montague said the report did not meet the standards which the public expects from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. The negotiating team of the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, met on Wednesday with the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. The JTA said there was favorable consideration given to some of the outstanding items on their claim, but the issue of percentage increase was not addressed. The JTA is demanding a response from the Cabinet by 5 p.m. on Monday after Cabinet meets. In international news, by week's end, Boston and part of New Hampshire will be colder than Mars. A dreaded bomb cyclone is pounding the northeast, dumping blinding snow and wind gusts as strong as 60 meters per hour. Parts of New England will be covered by 12 inches of snow. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.